Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 530. I'm Barry Krieger. And I'm Ciara Speller. State lawmakers and members of the Massachusetts School Building Authority toured East Long Meadow High School this morning. 22 News reporter Sydney Snow joined them on the tour where the town is hoping to upgrade or replace the school. East Long Meadow High School is 50 years old and the school has been requesting a new building for the past five years. State Senator Eric Lesser and Representatives Ash and Pupolo gave State Treasurer Goldberg and members of the Massachusetts School Building Authority a tour of the high school this morning to show them the school's current conditions. A meeting with the school committee followed the tour. An East Long Meadow superintendent said the meeting was a way for the school committee to ask questions about the process of getting a new school. East Long Meadow High has to submit an interest statement by April 12th. The Massachusetts School Building Authority will then review the statement and decide whether the school will be renovated based on the level of urgency in the state. Having our folks from Boston actually see what uh, a paper pencil application can't, you know, tell it in, in living format we hope will be helpful to furthering our uh, advancement in the eligibility process. Superintendent Gordon Smith said that last year 70 schools submitted interest statements for a new school, but because of funding, only 12 schools were able to be helped. The Massachusetts School Building Authority is funded by a percentage of the state sales tax. The 22 News I team is currently investigating detained high schools in western Massachusetts, and you can expect that report in a couple weeks. In Springfield, Sydney Snow, 22 News.